Hello there, Westchester University. I'm Angelica Fenori. And I'm Emma Kiesling. And this week is filled with events, but before we get into this week, homecoming. Oh, it's done. It's done. It's over. And for us, it's, it's done. Literally Senior done. Year. It is our last homecoming ever. Tears as an still, undergraduate. still drying my tears <laughs> a little bit. So, how was it? It was very fun. It was. Um, it was Best way for me to describe it uh, went by way too fast. Way too fast. How about yours? I just still can't believe it already happened. Like I, know. I feel like we just started the semester and now our homecoming is done. I know, and now it's like it feels like it's kind of in holiday mode. I know, know because Halloween. Right around it's the corner. Saturday. So speaking of Halloween, we have an episode geared up for it. Kristen Danella will be speaking with the members of the WCU Frisbee team, who are this month's Spotlight organization. Lauren Alexander will give it, be giving us the weather outlook, you know, to help us pick out our costumes for Saturday. And we'll also be talking to um, a Halloween-themed 5K going on this weekend. We're going to be decked out in our Halloween costumes, so definitely, Check it out. definitely stay tuned for that, because boy, do we look interesting. <laughs> Amber Key will be talking about this past weekend's homecoming game. Absolutely. So. so let's kick it off this Halloween weekend with a classic viewing of the Rocky Horror Picture Show co-hosted by the classic. LGBTQA at this Friday's Sykes After Dark. If you're looking for something scarier and more thrilling, you can check out the SAC movie this weekend, which is Insidious Chapter 3. As always, it's free if you attend Sykes After Dark. And it's terrifying. Oh, I don't I, want, Insidious I don't was not something that. I could sit and just like Jay chill watching. Yeah, I'll stick with the Rocky Horror Show. Yeah, fun, classic, easy fun. So Phi Sigma Sigma is hosting their second annual All-American 5K on South Campus in support of David's Drive 831. It will be held on Sunday, November 8th from 9.45 a.m. to 12 p.m. And something interesting about 831 it's um eight letters three words one meaning i love you oh, it's really cute so yeah. definitely check it out so registration is 12 dollars the day of and then the day of it's 15 dollars um david strive 831 is a nonprofit organization dedicated to improving the lives of our veterans so it's a great cause yeah, easy workout absolutely out. it's very important Come out to the Sykes Ballrooms A this Thursday, October 29th, for a game of Price is Fright, hosted by the My Financial Literacy Ambassadors. The game is Price is Right, but with a twist. The figures used are about student loan debt with a fun Wait, that's terrifying. <laughs> like that's if you scary. really want to get scared, you got it. Just go. think about student loan. Yes, it's going to be a fun Halloween theme, though, to get you in the spirit of the holiday. And, of course, it is costume optional, and there will be prizes for the winners. I like it. That, mm -hmm. that to me, is scarier than Insidious. God, student ones. Well, if your favorite part of Halloween is the free candy, then be sure to come trick-or-treating at the library on one, Wednesday, October 28th, from 2 p.m. until the candy runs out. There are nine locations, each with their own type of candy, so it's a good excuse to go to the library and get some studying in, because midterms. Yeah, I wonder how fast that will run out. I mean, if we're going. So whenever the candy is gone. If we're quick. going, then it's going to be quick. So. <laughs> now we're going to send it over to Kristen, who will be talking with the Frisbee team. Kristen? Thank you, Emma and Angelica. I'm here with Brendan and Jimmy from the Men's Ultimate Frisbee team. They were nominated through Random Excellence for their outstanding involvement in their organization. Hi, guys. How are you doing today? Good, good. good. So tell me about your extra efforts in the organization. You were at the Involvement Fair, right? Correct. Yep. Uh, at the end of the Involvement Fair, you know, how everybody's supposed to like clean up and everything. Right. Um, I guess not everybody uh, was doing that. So what we were doing, we were just kind of hanging out, throwing throwing the disc around in the quad, and uh, a couple of the ladies came up to us and asked if we could uh, help out and uh, lend a hand. And you know, there were seven or eight of us, and you know, we definitely, I guess, really helped them out. With the fact that we're here, uh, you know, being recognized for this awesome achievement. So that's great. Um, what are your positions on this, the team? I am the current men's president of the club, and Brendan here is vice uh, my vice president, my right-hand man. So Great. So you have big leadership roles on the team, so you're role models for the rest of your teammates, right? Yeah. All right. What, what kinds of stuff do you do for your team? Well, for me, I pretty much just get everybody you know, set up with all the forms, get everybody set up that way through um, all that. And then also on top of that, I have to help out by getting all the tournaments set up mm -hmm. for the fall and the spring. We do our fall seasons kind of like fall baseball where it's not as serious, but it's kind of uh -huh. like developing. Uh, but then come the spring is when it really kicks into gear when we go A and B, which is our varsity and uh, kind of our developing team, B team. So. That's great. So how often do you guys meet in practice? Uh, we practice on Mondays and Thursdays from uh -huh. 7 to 10 down on South Campus at Vonnie Grow. That's a lot of time, like dedication, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice. So what's in store for your team for the rest of the year? Uh, we have one more tournament left in the fall in uh, Mercer, New Jersey, on the weekend of the 14th and the 15th of November. Okay. So that'll round out our fall season. 
And then in the spring, we'll have three tournaments, and like Jimmy said, we'll split into our A and B squad mm -hmm. just to give us a better representation of who we're looking to develop and who's kind of our, our key players. And uh, our biggest tournament in the, in the spring is sectionals. Yeah, and our sectionals is pretty much like our conference championships. It's all like the local schools around here. We compete against uh, Lehigh, Temple, UPenn, uh, Villanova, St. Joe's, all those guys, Millersville wow. as well. Okay. Um, and then uh, depending on how many bids we earn, we are able to succeed up to regionals. And the past three years, ever since I was a freshman here, I'm now a senior, um, we have uh, made regionals the past three years and really hoping to make it uh, four years straight. So. Great. Well, keep up the good work, guys. Your organization sounds awesome. You're doing an awesome job. Well, thanks again for coming in, guys. I'm going to throw it to Amber for her sport short. Thanks, Kristen. Homecoming came and went, but our Rams football team survived a close victory to Bloomsburg 32-22 on Saturday in Farrell Stadium. Sophomore Shaquille James returned an interception 92 yards for a score with 19 seconds remaining over the PSAC East rival Bloom. An announced homecoming crowd of 6,347 fans rallied as Bloomsburg took the lead 22-19 with 3 minutes and 49 seconds to play in the game. Westchester regained their lead 26-22 with a minute and 33 seconds to go. This win marked just the second victory for Westchester over Bloomsburg in the last seven games at home since Halloween 2009. Defensive end George Ship was named the PSAC East Defensive Player of the Week. It was announced by the PSAC Conference. Ship was part of a defense that limited the Huskies' ground game to 75 yards and just 181 yards of the total offense. In all, WCU's front seven registered eight quarterback hurries, four sacks, and pressured Bloomsburg, Bloomsburg quarterback Tim Kelly into throwing three interceptions. Westchester is in a three-way tie for first place in the Eastern Division standings of the PSAC Conference, entering the ninth week of the season. The Golden Rams will travel to Cheney on Halloween for a 12 p.m. kickoff with the Wolves at O'Shield Stevenson Stadium. Well, that's all I have for this week's Sport Short. Let's throw it to Angelica and Emma to learn how you can help a good cause this weekend. Thanks, Amber. So as you guys can see, yes. Angelica is ready for the upcoming holiday. I look great, don't I? Yes, you <laughs> do. And we are also here today with Emily and Megan. They're from the executive board of Bringing Hope Home, and they're here to talk to us a little bit about their organization as well as their upcoming 5K events. So let's start with the 5K. Tell me a little bit more about it. So the 5K is this weekend. It's on November 1st, this Sunday. And we are having a Halloween costume 5K. So these girls ready. are ready for the We're 5K. going to line up right after one? this. Running through the streets. Our <laughs> registration starts at 1030, and the race will start at 12. And there will be lots of food at the event. Yeah, so you, I, we you're telling that. that us. Yeah. Like Rapido and everything? Yeah, we got yeah. a lot of pizza oh, wow. donated. Rapido is actually bringing in a lot of pizza. so I haven't had that yet, so. It's delicious. And then like a good workout and then some carbs to follow. Exactly. Absolutely. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Bringing Hope Home. Sure. Um, we are Bringing Hope Home Westchester University chapter, and we work directly with the nonprofit. And their mission statement is to provide unexpected amazingness to local families with cancer through financial and emotional support. Love so that. we do a lot of fun raising um, that's exactly what our stomp is going towards it's going to go directly to local families awesome. what a wonderful Perfect. organization so if we're interested in getting involved with bringing hope home or participating in the 5k talk to us about what we what we need to do where we need to go so for the 5k you could go on any of our social media Instagram Facebook or Twitter and find BHH WCU chapter and you find that follow that the link is all over so you can sign up for the run or donate Easy, Easy enough. Mm -hmm. And then to get involved. Yeah, if you're interested in getting involved, we meet every Monday at 8.30 p.m. in Marion, room 112. And we're also on OrgSync. So if you want to join our email list, you go on OrgSync, search Bringing Hope Home, and request membership. Easy enough. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So now there's a goal, right? You guys were talking about a goal early, earlier. Yep, um, we have a goal of helping three families through our run. Each family gets about $1,500 to pay whichever bills they find necessary. So our goal is $4,500 of net profit, and we're really close to that. We just need a couple more people to register, wow. a little bit more donated, and we'll totally blow that out of the water. Love to hear that. That's mm -hmm. great. Well, you guys are killing it. Awesome. Yeah. So if you want to get involved, if you want to dress up and go run through the streets of Westchester, Definitely check these girls out. Um, now we're going to go throw it over to Lauren with some weather. Hopefully we have sunny sun for November 1st. Mm -hmm. Lauren? 
Thanks guys, we're in for another cool week Westchester. Our highs stay in the upper 50s to mid 60s throughout the week. Wednesday will be our warmest day, but there is a good chance of rain. By the weekend, the clouds clear out giving us mostly sunny skies. It will be cool Saturday night for the trick-or-treaters with an overnight low of 41. And if you're out late partying on Halloween, no worries, you'll get an extra hour of sleep to catch up. Remember to turn your clocks back by one hour as Daylight Savings Time officially ends this Sunday at 2 a.m. That's about it for this week's Weather Outlook. Back to you, Angelica. Well, thanks, Lauren. The weather looks nice. Yeah. It's getting chillier. Yes. Um, so before we conclude this episode, I want to add one more event to the list. On Tuesday, November 2nd, the Abbeys will be having an open mic night. Open mic night. That's my biggest song twister. Um, in honor of the fight for Fred, so continue support. Absolutely. Definitely go check it out. It's going to be in Sykes Common Ground from 7 on. Um, you can see performances. You can offer to perform. We'll have baked goods. It's definitely a great cause, and it's been doing really, really well. well. And I think if we all keep coming together, we should see Freddie soon. Absolutely. Well, that concludes this episode of WCU Weekly. If you have anything you would like to be read on air or would like to get involved with WCU Weekly, be sure to email us at wcuweekly at wcupa.edu. And be sure to follow us on Facebook for segments, events, and much more. Well, until next week, I am Angelica Fenori. And I'm Emma Kiesling. Have a great week, Westchester University. And an even better Halloween weekend. Goal of the season in the 33 minute. 33rd minute. All right. Take it from the top. Well, that's all I have for this week's Sports Short. Let's throw it to Emma and, Alan and Angelica, Defensive East, Defensive End, PSAC East Defensive Player of the Week and is announced by the PSAC Conference. Ship was part of a defensive... Uh, okay, sorry. Can I start? Well, that's all I have for this week's Sports Short. Let's throw it to Angelica and Emma to... Well, that's all I have for this week's sports short. Let's throw it to Angelica and Emma to learn how the you. Uh, okay, sorry. What the heck?